What is going on folks, it is Christopher here with Pro Effects Max. Today we are going to be talking about how to create, install, and use an LUT into DaVinci Resolve. Very straightforward process, and if you don't know what LUTs are, they're basically color presets for your video. And we're going to be showing you, I, I am going to be showing you how to use these inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you click on this video for a certain part of it, I'll leave timestamps down below so that you can click on uh, how to um, uh, make the LUT, how to install the LUT, and then how to very simply use the LUT at the end. It's pretty straightforward and obvious, but, you know, maybe you're very new to Resolve and, you know, it's understandable. So, anyways, uh... That is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into DaVinci Resolve. Starting off, we will apply a color grade to our footage. Now I can add in a color grade, like physically adjust the curves and things of that nature. Um, or I can just literally do what I did in this tutorial the other day and I can shot match it to another clip. That's why, I, that's you literally, all you need to do is apply a color grade to your clip. And so, once the color grade is applied, literally all you have to do is right click over the clip icon in the color page and then select generate LUT and you can choose any of the three options. I chose 33 point cube, that seems to work perfectly fine for me and so that's what I'm going with. Um, I'm guessing the others may uh, store a larger file size but they'd be higher quality, I'm not sure. You can look into it yourself but um, I used 33 point cube for this and then it'll ask you where to save it. You just save it somewhere and there's your LUT. Now, how do you install LUTs? Now this, the example I'm going to be giving you, I'm just going to be installing the LUT that I created. Um, but you can use this for any LUT. If you buy an LUT pack, this is how you'll install it. There are two ways to install it. First off, uh, we can either go over to our LUTs uh, folder over to the left, you know, enable it or click on it. And then when our LUTs list pops up to the side, you just need to click on the little box icon to view all the side panels if you haven't already, if they aren't already viewable. And then you just right click over LUTs and choose reveal in finder. From here, you wanna just go ahead and locate your LUT and then just simply copy and paste it into your folder. You can drag it in as well, but just copy and paste so that it'll just be another iteration inside your LUT folder. You have another LUT stored somewhere else, but make sure you enter your LUTs folder and place the LUT into your LUT folder. From here, you want to click, right click over the same LUT name folder and then choose refresh. And it'll refresh it and then there's your LUT and you can use your LUT. The second way you can do this is you go to the very bottom right hand of Resolve where there's that gear settings icon and you click on that and then what it will bring up is your Resolve settings. Um, now you want to go down to color management and, to, and scroll down until you get to the lookup tables section. From here you want to click open LUT folder. Now this will open up the same exact folder, same exact process. You just copy and paste uh, your LUT into the folder or, or just drag it in if you want to do it that way. And then after this, you just click update lists. Now this way takes forever. It takes just a really long time uh, to process that now that you've added it in, I'm not sure why it does. So I just use the other way, but just this way, it might be easier for you to use for some reason. So this is another way as well. And uh, then once everything's finished processing, you just click save and you'll have your LUT and the LUT has been just like you did. Now, very simply running through how to add in an LUT into your video. Uh, you'll see the node graph. If you don't just click up at the node graph and enable it. And when you've opened your LUT folder as well as your node graph, all you have to do is drag the LUT that you've selected to a node, either that or select the node and then double click on the LUT that'll add it into the node, okay? And then you can add in nodes before or after by Shift S and I believe it's Option S respectively, you know, Shift S for before and Option for adding in a node after your normal node. And that is a simple way on how to add in an LUT into DaVinci Resolve. And that is it for me today. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it's helpful to you guys. If you guys do like this video, click that like button down below. Have any questions or comments? Drop them in the comments box down below. And for more videos on DaVinci Resolve, Blender, post-production, CGI, and those kind of things, Click that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram to see my visual effects and CGI renders results, things of that nature. And I'll see you guys in the next video.